Hello, it's Helen from North Ayrshire Ranger Service. Well, it's the beginning of December already, so I'm starting to think about Christmas decorations. And this afternoon I'm going to make one out of natural materials. So there'll be no tinsel or glitter. We're going to make a wee robin, a wee Christmas robin out of a pine cone. So here's what you need to do. And all you need are some pine cones, some feathers, some string and paint and a bit of glue and off we go. So the first thing we're going to do is take the cone and we're going to give him a nice red breast. And I didn't know this until I looked closely at what robins are like, but the red bit goes right up towards the top of their face. And I'm going to make this little bit his beak. So we need to put it up around there and just stop where his eyes are going to go. And although robins are here all year round, they tend to be associated with Christmas. And the reason for that, one of the reasons anyway, is that when the Victorians started to send Christmas cards, they were delivered by postmen who wore bright red uniforms and they became known as Robins. And it kind of stuck. But they've been associated with Christmas ever since. However, they are here all the year round if you Keep your eyes open, you'll see them in your garden right throughout the year. Okay, so he's got a nice red breast. What we'll have to do now is wait for that to dry. Meanwhile, I can give him a little brown beak just to make it stand out a bit more. So make his beak brown, there we go. So the paint's just about dry, so I'm going to give him some little eyes now. And to me, they always look quite beady, so I'm not going to do them great big eyes, just little blobs of black. And hopefully that'll stay quite shiny. Just at the edge of the red. You could use paint or a pen, whatever's easiest. Or you could even perhaps glue a little tiny bead on if you have one. But I'm just going to use the paint and make it look like he's having a look at us. There we go, that'll do. Now the other thing that he needs is a tail. So I've got these feathers. I'm going to put a bit of glue and just put it in the back like that. So I've got a hot glue gun here, I'm going to use that, but you might find PVA or something's easier, whatever you have. And we'll just put that in there, like so. So all that we need to do now is to get some thread to I'm onto the tree with. I'm going to use some of this natural looking thread here because I think it's going to look more in keeping with what I'm trying to do but you could use anything you have and you just thread it through underneath the scales of the pine cone there and I'm just going to tie it first and then make a wee loop so that I can hang it up. It can be a bit footery but I'm just going to tie the two string strings together. Okay, so I'm just going to hang him here until my big tree is ready. There we go. Why don't you give it a go?